Okay, so today we're going to be doing circumference. So before we learn about circumference, we got to learn what a circle is. So a circle is a round plane figure whose boundary, the circumference, consists of points equal from a fixed point, the center. So basically just, you know, what a circle looks like. That's not the main idea we're looking for. The uh, main definition we're going to be focusing on is the circumference. The circumference is a distance around the circle, or in other words, the perimeter around the circle. So to be able to find circumference, you know what diameter radius is. A diameter is a length from one edge of the circle to the other edge. And a radius is from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. It's also half the diameter. So let's label it. So this right here is the radius. This is the center. And this is the diameter. The diameter is the full thing, the radius is halfway, and the center is in the middle. So the diameter of a circle is twice its radius. The radius of the circle is half of the diameter. So if you, have, if you want to find the diameter, you do 2 times the radius. If you want to find the radius, you do diameter divided by 2. Now let's practice some of our own. So D, I'm given the diameter is 23. So it means you're going to do 2 divided in 23 to get the radius, which is, I believe, 11.5. So here I'm given the radius, and i got to find the diameter. So you're going to have to do 3 times 2, double that, and you get 6. So I'm going to find the radius here. Half of 16 is 8. So we're going to find the diameter here, so you're going to do 5.2 times 2, which is 10.4. So my diameter is 10.4. My diameter here will be half of that. So that'll be, um, well, that's one, th so you would be, so you do 3 ninths, divide by 1 half. So you keep it, switch it, flip it. So you keep it, switch it, flip it. And you get 6 over 9, which is also uh, 2 over 3. So my radius here is 2 thirds. Okay. So now my last one is you're going to double it. So double it, um, it will be 19 fifths times 2 over 1, which is also 38 over 5. And we'll keep it improper. That'll be your diameter. All right. So let's practice some circumference. Well, first off, let's learn the formulas for circumference. There's two formulas for, for circumference, and they actually can be found on your green chart or your star chart. So you don't have to memorize them. So the first one is C is equal to pi times diameter. Your next one is C is equal to 2 pi r. So that means just do 2 times pi times r. Because 2 times r is just diameter. So they're the same formulas. Again, you do not have to memorize this. Pi is an irrational number, which means it continues on forever with no pattern. It is usually approximated to 3.14 or 22 over 7. So if you ever forget that pi is equal to 3.14 or pi is equal to 22 over 7, this, this right here is also on your star chart, so you don't have to memorize that either. Generally, which, which one we're going to be using more is a 3.14. You normally don't use a 22 over 7. You'll use the, the form 3.14 more often. Hey, right, so let's find our circumference. So the first thing you always do is you always list out what you have. Well, since this, this length goes from one edge of the circle to the other, that's my diameter. So the diameter is 70. So it means I'm going to write down my formula. So the formula I'm going to use is C is equal to pi times diameter, because you're given the diameter, so you're going to use one that has a diameter in. So I'm going to do something called plug and shove. You're going to plug in the numbers that you know and solve for the numbers you don't. So I don't know what C is. So C comes on down. Pi is 3.14. So I replace it, and then D comes down, but since D equals 70, you put 70 here now. So now this formula just tells you you have to do 3.14 times 70. So you're going to do 3.14 times 70. 
which is 209, excuse me, 219.8. And so it'd be 219.8 inches. And that's your circumference. That's all you have to do to be able to find your circumference. All right, let's do another one. So this one, you have the radius. So R is equal to 7 eighths. So since you're given the radius, you're going to use a formula C is equal to 2 pi R. And we're going to plug and chug. So C, you don't know what C is. So C comes down. 2 is just 2. It means to multiply by 2. Pi, in this case, since, this, since my radius is a fraction, we're going to use 22 over 7. And then you're going to do 7 eighths. So now you're going to multiply. So you have to multiply these three numbers together. The order that you multiply them in does not matter. So, um, so we're going to multiply. You're going to multiply... So you're going to do 7 eighths times 2 first. I'm actually, let's just multiply all three of them together. So you're going to do, uh, write 2 over 1. So 2 times 22 is 44. And 1 times 7 is just 7. Okay, so now you have 44 over 7, so you're going to do 7 over 8. Which is equal to, 44 times 7 is 308. And 7 times 8 is 56. Which then simplifies down to, which equals 22 over 4, if you simplify it. So again, this is the same idea. All you got to do is multiply these numbers together. And I promise you, there's not going to be a lot of fractions. There'll be a lot of fractions on the notes, but generally when you come across it, there'll be a lot of uh, decimals. All right. We're actually going to skip C, and we're going to go on to D. So D um, is, gives you the diameter. So you're going to use the formula C is equal to pi times D. And so C, you don't know what C is. You do know pi is 22 over 7. And you know D is 7 over 22. Well, there's something that you can actually do is you can actually simplify before you multiply. Well, since these 7s are diagonal from each other, you can cross these out and you put, you put a 1 in their place. And you do the same things for these 22s. You can cross these out and put a 1 in their place. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 over 1 is 1. So your circumference is one kilometer. All right, let's practice some more. This time, let's practice using 3.14. So here, you're given the diameter, which is 20. So the circumference formula is C is equal to pi times D. So you don't know what C is. Pi is 3.14 this time, and D is 20. You only use pi is 22 over 7 is when the, uh, des uh, when the diameter or the radius are in fraction form. Other than that, use 3.14. So that means you're going to do 3.14 times 20, which comes out to 62.8 inches. That's your answer. All right, let's do another one. So this one, you're still given the diameter, which is 13. So your formula C is equal to pi times D. So C, C stays the same. Pi is 3.14 and D is 13. So you're going to do 3.14 times 13, which comes out to 40.82 yards. And that's your circumference. All right, let's do another one. This time you're given the radius. The radius is 3. So my circumference formula is C is equal to 2 pi r. So the reason why we're using the r one is because you're given the radius, or given r. So c stays the same. You bring down the 2. Pi is 3.14, and your r is 3. So you have to multiply all three numbers together. So the first thing you're going to do is 2, I'm going to do 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. So now you're going to do 3.14 times 6. And you always rewrite like I did here to be able to organize it. So you're going to do 3.14 times 6. And when you do that, you get 18.84. And I'll tell you right now, in the past years I've taught this, 18.84 will be an answer to a lot of your problems. So this number keeps appearing. But it will be 18.84 feet. And that's all you have to do for circumference. 
So the main idea to do is to list what you know, write down the formula, plug in what you know, and solve for what you don't. It's a very easy concept as long as you follow the formula. If you follow the formula, it'll be very easy for you. But if you just try to do the num multiply random numbers together, it won't work very well. So always, always write down the formula that you're using. All right, guys. So today's Tuesday. We're learning circumference. Tomorrow we're going to do stations. Thursday we'll do an assessment. And then Friday we're going to have a quiz. Thank you, guys.